Is your Sims 4 game ruined? Try this and your game will be instantly fixed. If you are dealing with these types of issues, there are multiple reasons why your game is acting like that, but the very main reason is that you have, you know, problematic mods or CC inside your mods folders. So the easiest way to actually fix those issues is to number one, just take out all of your script mods from your mods folder. If you don't know what script mods are, those are different from custom content, you know? Script mods are the ones that you you know, just uh, have within your game and, and that help you make your gameplay a lot more easier and a lot more enjoyable. To actually tell which ones are the mods inside your mods folder, if you are on Windows, you just need to click multiple times on this type column until you see those files that have the TS4 script extension right at the tail of that specific, you know, file. All of them are script mods and you can very easily just take them out, restart your game and see if now your issue is fixed. If not, you can just close your game and then go into your The Sims 4 folder and delete this file which is called local thumb cache or local thumb cache package. This will basically delete your game's cache, which is basically composed by temporary files that have been accumulated over time. So this will also get rid of those temporary files associated with your broken or problematic mods that you've just deleted. Okay, we're getting into technical issues over here. So just delete it, restart your game with no mods installed, obviously, and see for yourself if your game is working fine or not. If not, you may want to go for a hardcore method, which basically involves resetting your whole entire game. Now that may seem a bit scary, I know, but trust me, if you do it the right way, you won't have to worry about, you know, just losing your games, saves, files or anything because the secret and the key to resetting your game is to actually back up your whole entire electronic arts folder. So if you back up your whole entire electronic arts folder, you'll be assured that all of your files are in place somewhere else on your computer and you can very easily access them if you ever need to, but it shouldn't be the case. So before you do anything, just back it up. And that means you just need to copy and paste your whole entire electronic cards folder somewhere else. It can be on your other local drive. If you don't have another local drive, you can copy it on your desktop. If you have enough free space, you can even copy it to your downloads folder. You can also copy it to a flash drive if you have one on a CD, but I'm pretty sure that the size of your mods folder is going to be bigger than the size of a CD. You can also put it onto an external SSD or HDD. Make sure you actually check the size of each and every individual folder and compare it with the size of your folders that you have on your computer. The same thing can be applied if you are going to, you know, just copy and paste it somewhere else on your computer if you want to be 100% sure that your backup electronic cards folder contains all of your files you can just simply right click on it go to properties and then just compare the two sizes of those two folders like your actual EA folder and your backup folder and if those are the same you're good to go. Once you've backed up your EA folder, now we are going to go into the hardcore stuff. So you just need to rename your current Electronic Arts folder that is located within your documents in Electronic Arts Old. This renaming process will ensure the fact that your game will no longer recognize your old Electronic Arts folder and therefore will generate a brand new EA folder for you. So to actually be able to generate a brand new folder, you just need to open up your game, completely close it, and then go into your documents, and then you should very easily and clearly see a brand new EA folder. In here, make sure you don't delete your EA old folder because that one contains all of your saves, all of your files, although you also have the other backup on your desktop or in the other location that you've copied your backup folder. It's actually easier to just work with these two folders that are close to each other, if that makes any sense. You just need to access your electronic cards old folder, or if you have already, you know, just deleted that folder, you can obviously access your backup folder, but the content, meaning that the files that are included 
within the following folders need to be copied to this new Electronic Arts folder. So you need to copy your tray, your saves, and your screenshots files from your backup or old EA folder to this new one. So make sure you actually put those files into the appropriate folder. So if you want to decide to copy all of your saves, make sure you go into your backup or old EA folder, the Sims 4 saves, and then hit Control A or Command A to select all of your saves, right click on them, copy them, and then go back into your brand new Electronic Arts folder, The Sims 4, and saves. The point I'm trying to make right over here is that the saves files should obviously go into your new saves folder. The tray files should go into your brand new tray folder. Now, you don't need to copy your whole entire folder. You just need to copy the content, the files inside your tray, your saves, and your screenshots folder. I truly hope it makes sense. And once you have put all of your content back into your brand new EA folder, make sure you also copy and paste your CC. I'm not talking about mods because mods will be problematic, but as far as CC goes, you can very easily put them back. And to actually sort by CC, you can very easily type in your mods search bar dot package, which is basically the extension for the custom content files. Select all of them and then copy them and then paste them into your brand new EA folder, The Sims 4 and then mods. Now, I know that you may want to use your mods, but what I recommend you to do is to actually re-download any mods that you would like to use from now on because those mods may be problematic, may be corrupt, you're better off reinstalling your mods. I know that you may have lots and lots of mods, like, I don't know, maybe 6,000 mods, okay? I'm talking about script mods, not custom content. We're talking about MCC, we're talking about quick bath, quick shower, quick cooking, we're talking about slice of life, we're talking about the drama mod, live drama mod. So make sure you reinstall the bigger, you know, script mods within your brand new mods folder because we really don't want to encounter any other issues in the long term, okay? So if you're still having troubles with your game, make sure you check out these videos as well. These may also help you scan your whole entire mods folder. These may also help you fix any other issues that you may have. If you liked this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time with a brand new, exciting and helpful video for you. Have an awesome day just like you. Bye, guys.